Hello my friends, welcome again. So here we are in the subcategories and we can create new subcategory here, give it a name, uh, choose a category here, choose a file and open, hit save and yeah, we create a subcategory but we redirect back the category because we store here and redirect the categories change this to be subcategories.index with message subcategories say created okay save this and try again another one choose a file open save and yeah, we have a subcategory created, but I don't like this message. Uh, so in the index, we have the session. If the session cut from there and we we'll add it here, margin two, padding two, remove the row that MD text large and uh, 100 maybe and also text center hit save A refresh A refresh again new one some random open save and now it's more okay subcategory created and we have there. Now I want to edit and delete. And for that, I'm going to open the category controller because I want to copy what we have here and paste it to the subcategory so from here paste it here we have a store and change this to be subcategory and this to be subcategory like this Also this one and change this to be subcategory here. Edit. Uh, also the same here. Subcategory and subcategory here. Also here when I store subcategory update a name, slug and the path, but we need one more field because we are in the subcategory here. We need the category ID and it's going to be the request category ID. And the same thing here. And we redirect the subcategory index with message subcategory updated. Okay. Uh, also here subcategory. and subcategory delete and go to the subcategories index with message subcategory deleted and i think we are okay
yeah hit save and open the uh, admin subcategories and create new file here for the edit blade.php and go and copy what we have in the edit of categories no sorry what we have in the create of subcategories select all copy and paste it here mm -hmm. change this to be edit subcategory and not create change this to be update okay method post and we need to change this to the method again to be put a placeholder and i don't say you but i add the error in the create of the subcategories okay so here we add the error for every Uh, field we have so go and create one if I uh, when we are here when we create so we add the request I'm going to create a request sorry open the terminal and artisan make request store subcategory request close this and open the subcategory request change the authorized to true and add the name to be required uh, category ID also required and the image also to be required hit save and close this and open the subcategory sorry open the subcategory controller and now add the subcategory request here and save also save the edit for now and in the create refresh hit save now and we have error for the this field is required but for the category we have the category so we don't have and also the, the name field is required and we have this class error so select this and change to be class bg not bg but text red 500 and also I went to cut and paste after okay and here and here save come here refresh save again And why we don't have a text red 500 and also we have in the right Maybe we need to run the npm run dev. Ok, 
create run to create new file for the CSS refresh nothing happen again I don't know why I don't have this I say text rate 500, that's okay Change this to be div, maybe, and here, and also in the name, yeah, in the name image. Did it save and come and refresh? Yeah, again, okay. Uh, I'm going to leave this for now. I don't know why it's not updating the npm run watch. Okay, so I'm going to leave it and I'm going to see in the background. So here we are in the create, go back and I want to update now, go to the edit, not found, subcategory, edit return the admin and we don't have subcategory. Why is this not found? Admin subcategories edit, and we have here the edit blade and not found. I have his categories. So in the index of the subcategories when we have we need to make changes here so here sub categories again here and also here go back and refresh and now go to edit yeah we are in the Subcategories one edit, but we don't display the name because we need to say where we are in the name, where is the form here, and the name is here. Change the placeholder name to be the value, which is going to be the subcategory name and uh, here we, we have uh, all categories here we're going to say if the category id is the same as the sub category category id say is selected all 
otherwise nothing and the image I'm going to display the image so if we go to the edit in the categories here here we have our image just copy from here and paste it here and change to this to be subcategory image save come here and refresh Open image new tab storage. We don't have a name, nothing. Why? Why is happen that? <clears throat> so if I open the ID here and uh, it's not working the road model binding because we don't have we change the name here. Okay, friends, so if I add sub category like this and say sub category find like this, refresh on the find variable subcategory. Yeah, I make a mistake here, subcategory, and come here, refresh, yeah, now we have the Tirana here, the, the image, and all of that. Okay, so if I want to update, copy this, and first we need to say subcategory find by the ID now because the road model binding is not working because we change this name here if we say subcategory like this is going to work but I'm going to leave like, like this and uh, I think we are good to go again here the same thing as the ID Hit save, come here, go back, refresh, and I'm going to delete this. Uh, Subcategory we deleted again, again, and again. The deleted method is working. So in the edit, I'm going to update, test, updated, save, and the put method because in the edit yeah the put okay yeah my friends need to change this to be update okay go back refresh Why is missing the road subcategories update? Yeah, road subcategories update need the subcategory ID. And now we are okay. So if I change the updated, hit save and we have the updated. Okay, edit. We have Laravel, if I change the developer, save, and now I did again, we have the Laravel developer. Hope you enjoy friends, all the best and see you in the next one.